Hi, this is Buttermix, and this time we want to create a halftone like print effect in Maya that you can apply to all your 3D models. This is a very cool uh, effect that you can add to your 3D renderings to make it a little bit, a bit more stylized and stuff. So, first we'll, we will create our, our scene. Um, we create our polyplane here. Scale it like so, and then we create a nurse primitives torus, and we'll translate in this in Y like 0.5, so it leads there. We'll be get a little bit closer. We need a light now, so we'll create light in a directional light. Hit seven for lighting mode. Hit E for rotate, and we'll just rotate this like so. And we'll access the properties of the light with Ctrl Control A. So shadow, let's make it a little bit gray. Use the match shadows, and that's it. We can get closer here to get a test render of this. See how it's looking. I want to see my shadow over here. So let me put it a little bit lower, so I have my shadow there. There we go, there's my shadow. Uh, so now, we'll uh, start making the shader that will do the magic here. So we'll first select the floor and the torus shape, and in lighting and shading, uh, Select assign new material and we'll create a lamber for this. Uh, we'll name this half tone dots shader. Okay, I'm gonna change this uh, viewport to the hyper shade so I can work here. I'll just hit panel, panels, and hyper shade. And in the hyper shade, I need to select my material and drag it down here to the work area. And I can click this button to hide everything but the work area, so I have a little bit more space now. Okay, the other thing I need here is gonna be a, a noise uh, node, so I can go down here under 2D textures and middle click and drag a noise to the work area. I can hide this. Uh, my noise. I'm gonna connect it to the halftone dots to f to the incandescence channel, so I can middle click, drag it to the incandesc incandescence, drop it, and it's connected now. You can see the little connection line here. I'm gonna tweak some properties of the noise, which is gonna be responsible for all the dots. Uh, we're gonna start with the uh, amplitude. Change that to six. And we're gonna go next to the depth. Just need one here. Then down to frequency, 52. So we have more dots of, on that. And in the noise type here, we'll remove the spotness and remove the randomness. So we have more perfect circles here. Okay, that's for the noise. We'll need now uh, a remap uh, node so we can have this this surface always looking black and white. We're gonna go all the way down here, all, all, all the way down under color utilities. And middle click, drag and drop a, a remap value here. <coughs> We're gonna go now up and create a lumber material which is going to be responsible for maintaining our white and the white color so we'll click in the material on the lambert and we'll be putting this all the way to black the white excuse me and the look way the diffuse all the way to one and that's it for that we're going to connect the lambert to the input value here but we're gonna connect it a little bit different 
So we'll middle click, drag over to the remap value and choose other. This brings up the connection editor and we're gonna connect the output R, output color red. So go down this side, span out color, choose out color red and click in the right side, click input value. That will effectively, effectively connect those two. As you can see the connection here, if you put the mouse in there, you can see the connection that is made. Now, the remap value, we're gonna just invert this. You click in that, you, you just need to invert those values here. Just put this down, and put this up, and that's it. That's all we're gonna do to the remap value. So we can invert those values there. We're gonna connect the remap value to the density of the noise. So click in the noise, and bring out the density down here, and the, the noise type, and middle click, drag the remap value to the density. You can already see we have some results here, uh, but if you take a render now, if we take a render now, you'll see that we have those big dots here, and and this is uh, inverted, so we need to invert the color. So we need black dots, and the paper will be white. So close this and we'll go back into the noise noise node and click on it and all the way down here under effects under effects click invert so if you test render again you see that we have now black dots and white paper but dots are big here for the surface and this are mm, bit weird on this surface so we we need to project this on the camera so all the the dots seem like a real half tone effect so to do that we'll need a projection node so we'll create a projection node which is down here middle click drag it and we'll connect this to the incandescence, incandescence of the node. Okay, so we just middle click drag here and connect it to the incandescence, which so replaces the whole connection. Uh, we we'll connect the noise noise to the image of the projection. So click the projection, find the image property, and middle click drag the noise there, so it connects it. In the projection, we'll need to change the projection type to uh, perspective, and down here in camera projection attribute, we'll need to change the link to camera, the link to camera property to perspective shape, or the camera we're gonna be using for rendering. And now, if we take another test render, you can see that we have a very nice half tone effect. Um, but you may notice that the circles are a bit a little bit stretched, so we can fix that very very easily. Go back into the noise, and in the place to the texture tab, just click it, and in the repeat UV, just instead of one, type 1.5 there, and that will make that will make our circles perfect. If you take another test render, you can see that you have a very very nice. Um, half tone effect if you go back to perspective view here you can see that if we can render we can render this effect for any view now from any side if we have a an, an animation it will be this will be very cool to see all of your uh scene being uh half tone effect well guys this has been this has been, I know this is maybe a little bit confusing so to some of you, but this is a very cool effect that you can use in your productions, and this is a very cool introduction to some of the Hypershade nodes, uh, utility nodes in Maya that you can uh, use to make 
great effects and we will explore in some other effects some other time. Hope I can see some of your effects in the forums and share with the other guys what you have done with this and other tutorials. That's it for today. This is Buttermix for CreativeCow.net.